This is Navajo Lake in November. And the light of the winter solstice has already started coming in a couple of days ago. Immense energy coming into Earth. And such clarity of light, incredible clarity. It's getting on towards sunset. And I'm going up to find the circle of crystals that I put up top of this hill earlier today. And they've been having a sun bath. <laughs> and so I'm going to find them, put them in the earth, and give the ch earth a chance to absorb the sunlight directly from the crystals. So Earth has a way of knowing about this stuff and <laughs> just knows what to do. And once it gets a template, it duplicates it all over. <laughs> and we do too, you know. When we get a template of a, an ascensioneer with Christ consciousness energy, we have the right to duplicate that too if we like it. So in that sense, we're like the earth. <laughs> it's getting on towards the full moon. That'll be two more days. Nice moon now, huh? And here we have my stone marker and my crystals. Here, let's see. They're little crystals, but they're doing their job. So. Yeah. So just um, try to get a hold of some clear quartz crystals, but if you can't, you can find quartz pebbles maybe in your area that are a little bit broken and showing their facets and arrange those in a circle, maybe six in a circle or five in a circle and let them absorb the sunlight all day long. And then as the sun is getting on down towards the horizon, you can, you can bury them in the earth and so that the earth absorbs the energy very well and fractalizes out all over with the energy of the sunlight. And if you, if you want to do it like that, if you bury them in the earth, then there'll be no chance of them starting forest fires like that from the sunlight in the future. So that's something to think about. And, um, and so ceremony, all kinds of ceremony, beautiful ceremony using the emotions and not just the mind.